I feel like there's a certain way you're probably supposed to grab all this, but I don't know how. Hey guys, <laughs> look how fake this bag is. Today we're eating Indian food. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at this. I found this Indian restaurant on Yelp. I just briefly read the comments and I knew right away that this place was gonna be good. And look at this packaging, it's huge. This is Bees Me. So, this is what their menu looks like. So I got the appetizer platter, a combination of veg samosa, chicken samosa, pakora, aloo tiki, and chicken pakora. I'm probably butchering the Indian language. I'm saying all these wrong, I know I am, and I'm sorry guys, but I don't know any better. <laughs> so, matar paneer, venu Greek, not sure what that is, or how to pronounce it, but it has word Greek in it, so that's cool. <laughs> Their chicken tikka masala, yummy. Okay, let's go. I'm super excited for this. I've always wanted to visit India. Okay, so I love how they packaged it. I feel like I'm opening up a present right now. Oh yeah. Okay. Party in the house. <laughs> okay, put that here. Then I have, it looks like I have some sauces here. Not sure what these are or how to use them. Mmm, it's like minty. It's like kind of like barbecue. Sweet. Mmm. Has that one, I think, a fennel seed in it? Is that what it is? Okay, I have this. Mmm, smells so good. I don't know what this is. Chickpeas. Oh my god. How am I supposed to eat with this with my hands? It's so hot. I guess I'm gonna have to wait till it cools down. So I asked the girl, I'm like, are there. Oh my god, everything is so huge. Okay. I'm like, are there any specific things I have to eat with my hands? Or is everything kind of like you're supposed to eat with your hands? She's like, everything. I'm like, okay. So we'll just do that then. Woo, so this is the platter I got. Yummy, okay. <laughs> I wanna try one of these. So I'm going to assume that one of these, that this is the veg samosa and this is the chicken samosa. I could be completely wrong. You guys have to let me know. And I'm thinking this is what the other ones were. Okay, I'm gonna try it. This looks, oh my God, it smells amazing. Oh, this is chicken for sure. Is this the chicken bakar? Maybe? Mmm. What is this? Is that the lutiki? <laughs> oh god. What are these little things? Can I eat them? Mm. You're probably not supposed to eat these, right? They look edible though. <laughs> they taste edible. <laughs> so I kind of want to save some for my boyfriend. Only because I know he would appreciate that, so I'm going to do that. Ooh. So I have some rice here. So I'm just going to pour half of that on here. Oh my god. I They gave really good portions. Oh, this is really hot. Oh, wow. I think this is the... the the chicken tiki. Can you see that? Oh my god, this looks hella good. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Mm. 
So this is the Matar Paneer that I got. Mmm. That is so good. And I have like these chickpeas here, which I'm not entirely sure how, okay. I guess I, I can dip this in here, is what I'm guessing. So I'm gonna try that. Mmm. It gives it such a fresh flavor. It's really good. I have some of that naan bread. I'm gonna start by dipping it in this. It's a cube of cottage cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this on the rice. The chicken Marcella, tiki Marcella. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So, I kinda wanna try like, I don't know how to eat this, guys. What if I like dump <laughs> Am I supposed to eat these? <laughs> well, it's going in. It's happening. This is probably wrong, but this is how it's going down. Can you guys see all this? I feel like this is blocking that. There we go. I feel like I'm supposed to like, okay, let's give this a go. I feel like there's a certain way you're probably supposed to grab all of this, but I don't know how. Mm. The chicken is so good. Oh my god.
Okay. Okay, so I have these little chickpeas here. I'm gonna dip some of the nan bread in there and go for it. Ooh. Everything has so much flavor. I'm gonna, whoops. I'm gonna just rip this nan right up. Put it right here. You can see that one, right? Okay. So I think this is the chicken samosa. Just open it up to see. Yep, this is it. Okay, I was right. That's a piece of chicken. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I love sparkling water with food. Not without food though. <clears throat> so I'm actually gonna put some of this right on top of that stuff. These little pieces of cheese though, cottage cheese.
I think this is the <clears throat> veg samosa. So crispy, so much flavor, so delicious. There was this store growing up as a kid. They sold a lot of different foods in their convenience store. They had samosas in their convenience store. And I would always get some samosas, a beef patty. So delicious. I feel like I probably have a lot on my face right now. Do I? I'm good. <clears throat> this is really good. I'm so happy that you guys request for me to eat this. It just brings back a lot of mem memories. Like when I was in high school. For one year, I went to Catholic school, and when you're in Catholic school, you have religion class, and so I was learning about all the religions. The two religions that I liked the most after reading about them was Hinduism and Buddhism. When I was reading about all these different, I can't remember exactly how to call what the, how to call them, but these different aspects of the religion, I just really, really enjoyed H Hinduism and Buddhism out of everything. It made the most sense to me. So yeah, I studied all those religions and I liked Buddhism and Hid Hinduism out of everything. It just made the most sense to me. So I this food just reminds me of how much I wanted to visit India, how much I still want to visit India, and reminds me of a kid, how much I love samosas, not even realizing that samosa is an Indian food, you know? So yeah. So I'm actually going to save a couple pieces of for my but this is like really good guys
I really like this sauce. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this mukbang. Yeah, until next time.